Galaxy slowly but surely inching toward the Ryan Fire red zone. And now down the middle of the field, the play is picked off. Interception by Omari Williams. He stays on his feet. And Williams will go the distance. Pick six for the fire. The collision and the attempt to make the tackle. Williams just got to the spot first. And making everything else happen himself. Watch the collision right there. Sullivan laid out by his own teammates. Yanez von Rennes, the last man with a chance to make the tackle. Now going for it on fourth and eight. The play clock ticking down. Just off in time. Clark going to the end zone. It's caught for the touchdown. Mahungu for six. Played with Ottawa in the CFL last season. Going blitz, Sullivan, the quick hitter, but it's intercepted. Miscommunication, and it's going to be the second pick six of the game for the Ryan Fire. The touchdown scored by Max Richter. Look at this play again. Just not the right route run. Something went wrong in the communication between the two teams. The block downfield from Clark with time. Over the middle, complete to Robitaille. He's inside the 20. He's beyond the 10. He's in the end zone. The Ryan Fire on the board again. Clark to Robitaille. And the Fire up by two scores now. Great pass protection. Robitaille coming across the middle of the field, and he had speed to burn. body type for a tight end. Six feet four, 230 pounds. Cruza. It's empty backfield. Hair throws and that's picked off! It's Omari Williams. He's off to the races for what will be his second pick six in as many weeks for the fire. And is that a back-breaking pick or what? Thrown by Preston Hare. Preston Hare wants that throw back. Not a shadow of a doubt. That is the fifth return touchdown. Charging into on-rushing defenders without any good cause. As he'll drop back to throw the ball deep. He's got a man, and he's got a touchdown. And who else but Nathaniel Robitaille? Sorry, put that up on top of the... Uh, one more round, we're going to get the touchdown. Of course, that's actually what we should be looking at. And Robitaille gets beyond... Uh, Drive starts at the six. Back handoff. Clock, touch pass! And that has worked out beautifully! Leander Valentin Vigant, offensive guard, but he was eligible. Turnover has hurt the guard number really bad. Number so Clark hands it off to Tunga this time. Tunga working the weak side, the cutback. Glenn Tunga, the 10, the 5, touchdown. That's uh, one of the worst parts of the stadium is the concrete behind the field, but Glenn Tuga making all the right moves here on the green grass. As he takes up his position at middle linebacker. Richter uh, showing blitz, but then backing up in the coverage and a pick. And this could be a house call, and it will be. Oh, the golden grill goes into the end zone. Marius Kenzie with a pick six, and the Rhine fire threatened to walk away with the Rhine Derby. The punt from the Centurions. Ball taken on the 14-yard line. Patterson already has a bit of running space, and he's up past midfield. He's got one man to beat, 
He's done that. If we have no flags. This is a punt return for touchdown. Is the way the scoreboard reads. The Daniel Schumacher kick taken on the 14 yard line. 86 yard return to the house. The NFL really wanted to create that natural rivalry between Dusseldorf and Cologne. Whoa, and speaking of rivalries, here's Omari Williams scampering into the end zone for another Ryan Fire touchdown. For Ryan Fire, they do that at a pretty good clip, by the way. And here is not only a first down, but a big gainer around the left-hand side of the formation. And a touchdown for William Patterson. Oh, we're doing backward saltos already with 10.37 left in the first quarter. To get all the information and your tickets for both the party and the final. Screen pass set up to William Patterson. Down past the 20-yard line, and he will scamper into the end zone. Touchdown, Ryan Fire. 24th of September here in Duisburg. You know, the onside kick is also not going to work out real well for the Hamburg Sea Devils. William Patterson. Oh boy. Careful, William. Careful. We got uh, we don't have a lot of runoff in these European stadiums. <laughs> now there's a celebration. How about that one? Here's Patterson on the quick hitter. There he goes. Patterson breaks one tackle. Patterson bouncing outside, still on his feet. Patterson in for the score. Clark is thrown for almost 3,400 yards in a record-setting season. From the 38, here they go with play action. Clark looking back up top again. He's got his man in the end zone. Kofi, touchdown. Man, are they dangerous, aren't they? It's one of the luxuries that you have to be up on some of the weaker competition. Clark looking up top for touchdown. Number 52, he's got it. Touchdown, Ryan Fire. Touchdown, Kofi for number two on the day. Second and seven from the 39 of the Ryan Fire. Going to bring some more pressure again. They do. Sullivan under duress. The ball's intercepted. It's the second time in this ball game. Nieto down the sideline and is going to take it all the way for a score. What a back-breaking moment here in the closing minutes of the first half for Jacob Sullivan and the Frankfurt Galaxy. Ryan Fire extend their advantage to 33-21. They defeated Munich. 39-25. Play action here. Jadrian Clark looking up top again. That ball's complete to Kofi for the hat trick. He scores. He's probably asking everybody here, what else can he do at PSD Bank Arena? Trying to see if the fire can get more points on the board. Pass down the field. A chance for the end zone. It's caught for the touchdown or is it did he get both feet in Kofi arguing this case and off to Tunga he's got space Tunga's going to go the distance and the fire extend their advantage Tunga barely touched fire lead by double digits Perch and as a fullback with play action. Screen to Tunga. Beautiful play call. Tunga with the leap. Tunga stays on his feet. And Tunga goes all the way to the house to surely seal the deal on a Ryan Fire championship. Ha! Huh. Even his quarterback can hardly believe it. 